Wow. Hey, everybody. We're doing an impromptu Zoom and ATW view. I allow me to start this off. I'm WWE, and I made $256 million this quarter. Okay, now go all in. Well done. What the holy hell is wrong with this freaking company? I swear to God. But, but I digress. Yeah, this is an ATW view impromptu. And we are on Santa and are going to talk the shit out of everything that happened today, too. And that's all I got to say about that. There's no host. There's no script. There's no forum. There's nothing else going on here, too. Just five wholesome gentlemen here. We are ATW talking about all things wrestling. But tonight is one particular topic. I ain't going to be fucking fucking wholesome. Are you kidding me? Oh, I know expression to do. I I try to bring I try to keep it. Oh, absolutely. Because, again, I'm the simple man. James, you're different. But I digress. All right, I've talked about mm-hmm. this again. King, talk. What the fuck happened today? Well, Russell Votes and Sean Ross, well, not Sean Ross, but Russell Votes and many other sources have reported earlier this morning that we were expecting a small number of releases today. The releases, there was, those reports were true, but it turns out that number ain't small. That no. number expanded. And from some of the names that we have, that they have discussed, let me pull up on my list here because I kept an updated list of the releases here. As, as, of, as of what we know people. right now. As, as of what we people. know, because uh, like Sean Ross said, said, he does not know if there are any more releases that are coming. So stop asking Sean Ross Sapp of more releases. Thank you. These are the releases that we know as of November 4th, 2021 thus far. Amber Moon, mm. Scarlett Bordeaux, B. Fab, mm. who I just learned has signed a new deal just last week. Trey yep. Baxter, Karrion Cross, which wow, you turned you went you turned Damn. him from an wow, you basically ruined this man's main roster dead on arrival, and then you released him. Wow, good job. Um. Taya Valkyrie, I'm not calling her Frankie Monet that as she's released. I've always called her Taya Valkyrie. And she was there, she was just there nine months ago. Yep. Nine months ago. And then you released her? Wow, I bet you she feel happy. Do not get me wrong. Um, JC Camille, who was part of the Robert Stone brand. Oni Lorkin, who I, in my opinion, was an underrated wrestler in NXT. Him and Danny Burks were the one-two combo in NXT. And you released mm-hmm. him. Wow. Lince Dorado and Grand Mantelik. I I seen this coming with Grand Mantelik because there were reports that he was requesting his release, and he fin- and he got it. But let's get yep. down to the two names. Well, actually, one name in particular who long overdue, and another name who basically sh- I think shocked all of us. Let's start with the name that I should have seen a long time ago. Nia Jax. This one was a long wow. time coming. Long time coming. Damn. Like the, the, the we all heard, we've all seen what Nia Jax has done in the ring, causing many injuries to people and botches yeah, here long, and there. Not long enough. True. Sorry. You're good. You're good, bro. It's all good. But here's the name that I think really shocked us all, besides Cross. Keith Lee. How did you ruin this man? He is the first, well, the only NXT double champion, NXT champion, and North American champion. This man was 1v1 in the ring in 2019 Survivor Series, part of that Team NXT, Team SmackDown, and Team Raw, and you had Keith Lee and Roman Reigns in the ring going at it as the final two respective of their brands. And then not to top it all off, this man was standing in the ring with Brock Lesnar at the 2020 Royal Rumble in Minute Maid Park in Houston. And then to top it all off again, this man took a leave of absence because of medical reasons, because he had a heart inflammation that almost caused him to become pronounced dead. And then you may, and then he mm-hmm. comes back and, and you repackage him and, and just to be released. And for what I've heard, he was teased to join the Hurt Business with, uh, with, after his match with Cedric, and you released the man. Wow. Congratulations on that one. Mia Yim. Wow. Mia Yim. 
I was not expecting to see this coming at all. I oof. And yet she did not wrestle a match this year. She did not. The only time she wrestled was the last match she had was December 28th in tw- of last year against Nikki Cross, her main event. But yet she got drafted the Raw, right? Yeah, okay. And then got Nikki, you, you, you think that's bad? How about fucking Ember Moon? Yes. That was the very first one he named. Oh, that's yeah. Like, yeah like, that was the very first one I missed. That list here. Amber Moon. And then we'll, then we'll interact. Finish the list up. Then, good Lord. And, and then Eva Marie. Good. Good. Yeah. That one should have been done from the get-go. Good. Shouldn't have been hired. Thank you, James. Thank you. <laughs> Shouldn't have been hired. To yes. Katrina Cortez of Legado del Fantasma. Really don't know much, so y'all can probably inform me if y'all want to. Inform me on her. Um, Jeet Rama. The last thing I heard of him, he was part of Jinder Mahal's uh, little stable. Correct. In on Raw. Uh, Zeta Rivera, right. I remember her. I remember her a little bit from NXT. I remember her a little bit. And the last but not least name on this list thus far is um Davey Boy Smith, who they just signed earlier this year and was wrestling on dark matches for SmackDown. And then you release him. Wow. It's wow. Yes. Now I and open up with Harry this Smith, question. not David Hart Smith. David Hart Smith. <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> nice reference on that punk promo reference nice touch Very now nice. i oppose this question now we all know uh, aew can't sign everybody but if you were to exactly pick right one or two names from that list maybe even three of that names of the list i just mentioned thus far who do you think tony khan should go after I'm if, sorry, I, if, if, I, if i can start with one name I'm just going to start with one name, and then, again, I think I'm probably going to take the most obvious all one. Right. But I think we all want to bask in his glory. Got to go with Keith Eppin Lee. Dude, yeah. even – and I mean this. Like, even if he was just in a fucking tag team with Hobbs, which is what I pitched, Lee leaps and bounds better than what he was doing on the main roster right now. Leaps and bounds. Not even close. Dead serious, especially in that tag team division. Are you kidding me? It's like it's like King says that tag division. He's got it on okay. uh, lock down. Period. All right, uh, Casey. All right. Now I already said Keith Lee, so drop us another name that you think could be a great pickup or just a great worker to see on one of the many stages that AEW offers. All right, two names names. and mine that I have that AEW should either go after after is Keith Lee or Killer Cross because both of those guys can go in the ring, number one. And if I have to choose between Keith Lee and Killer Cross – Valuable option would be Keith Lee, and I would send Killer Cross back with Impact Wrestling because Killer Cross did absolutely great in Impact Wrestling. Uh, no, and I, honestly, he should go to AEW because they impact and treat him yeah. better. Let's be honest. Oh, okay. Not towards the end. All right. No to be way. Fair, to be end. fair, though, it was a different management setup. Again, uh, right now, yeah. things in impact, right. I feel, are much better as far as that Probably, goes. Probably, right. but they're still that bad boy. I, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, either way, I agree with you there. Killer Cross would be a perfect addition for AEW and same with Keith Lee as well. And two new additions that would be great for the AEW Women's Division is Amber Moon Definitely. and yes. Mia Amber Moon and Mia Yim not, because, just, not just Amber Moon and Mia Yim Taya Valkyrie too Taya, 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 Taya Valkyrie Taya Valkyrie Taya Valkyrie Amber Moon Mia Yim would be their three new additions to AEW Women's Division because they would thrive 
in that woman's division with AEW because mm-hmm. in imagine the matchups with the likes of Amber Moon versus Hikaru Shida, Amber Moon versus Red Velvet, and I can see Amber Moon and Red Velvet being a tag team, honestly. And Amber yeah. Moon versus Doctor Britt Baker, DMD, and. Mia Yim, Taya Valkyrie. I mean, all three of those ladies would thrive in AEW's women's division. And Keith Lee and Killer Cross would both thrive in AEW. And and those releases that were just released by, by WWE, if I had to pick some to go to AEW as the new roster additions, Killer Cross, Keith Lee, Mia Yim, Amber Moon, and Taya Valkyrie would be a new addition to AEW. And the rest of the releases that were up there, I mean, save some for New Japan, Ring of Honor, and uh, WA, MLW. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of options. That's the beauty of the wrestling. Many uh, other promotions. Let me out there. Let, let me include. add. I mean, let there's me a some, lot of options out there. For let everybody. me let me add something to this because I, I feel like this can also be. I feel like everybody says, "Well, they can't hire everybody," but with the way AEW is spreading out their roster, and you know they're building to a six man division, I feel like it'd be we'd be. It would be very, um, how do I put this? Uh, lucrative. Lucrative? Yeah. It'd, it'd be lucrative to try to get Lindsay and Graham at the league to, to get those guys along with uh, Samurai Del Sol again, especially if you're building up the trios division. And Ooh, Davey Boy Smith, Davey Boy Smith, even though, I, I, even though here's the deal, right? You... Everybody says, well, you can't sign him. No, but you can sign him if he's signed to another company like Bobby Fish is, like me, Lee Moriarty is, and he'd be a great exactly. addition to your roster. Right. So I put I put D.H. Right. Smith there, too. I um, see several of those names showing up on Dark first before uh, anything. Uh, just to, uh, Dark, you know, Dynamite, just Rampage, just, uh, one. Yeah. Just Ole Larkin, for example. Now. I definitely could see him above in Dark. Yes. He could take on maybe Tiger uh, Ruas or uh, – Marcus uh, Cross. The Tiger Ruas is right. I, I cannot believe they didn't know what the hell to do with him. I mean, he was a recent release too. That guy, yeah, is legitimately the uh, is legitimately tremendous on the mic as a character. He's fucking great, and he's not even on main TV yet. No, and no, like, no, no. what no. the hell? How do you fuck a guy up like this? But that, why don't we go that's, to that's why, the why, main why don't we go to the guy that usually has the answers? Because Eric, your thoughts? Who you think should go like where? I mean, there's big names on this list. There's a lot of promising prospects that we could see come out from these releases to show up on the wrestling industry and this multiverse that we now have shared universe. Give us your thoughts on these releases, man, because you're the most insightful of us all. One, I think Oni Larkin would be a great fit for New Japan. Let's just go with that first. Yes. And an MLW. Solid option. Put him on New, New Japan, Japan America. Yeah, I can see him definitely fitting somewhere. New. As we're speaking, Barry. as we're speaking in this recording, Vince is trending at number three. WWE releases are trending at number two. Keith Lee's at number one. Because Keith Lee was the most potential top tier next candidate to be the next top superstar in WWE out of this whole damn list. I don't ever want to hear I don't ever want to hear from any any defender that Vince McMahon's a genius ever again. Shut the fuck up. I don't need every single one of you. If you you still support this company after a, a round four of releases, don't even save your breath. Don't even get criticized because you had wrestling right. fans will go you, after you like crazy. You had the Vince McMahon 
proto type in Keith Lee. No, was he as ripped as fucking Brock Lesnar? No, but you know what? No. The dude can fucking fly. The dude was athletic. The dude was one of the best fucking pure athletes that you had yeah. on that goddamn roster. And you did nothing with him. It, nothing. Exactly right. Exactly Kate right. Cross was was also the he was prototype. Keith Lee was the, and, I, and I, like I said earlier, the, the only NXT double champion. Yes. And then, yeah, you ruined him. You ruined him when you get to the main. Oh, let's repackage him. Let's give him Bearcat. Oh, let's tone down his moveset. Why? Because, oh, he can, he's, he's a standout. He can fly. Yep. He can do cruiserweight stuff that a bit that uh cruiserweights can do just because he's a big man and you want to tone down his moveset. Just make him wrestle like a big show. Make him wrestle like a Mark Henry. Oh. Get out of here with that. Also, I, yeah. I, I, I like to I like to remind you all, I like to remind you all, they said, Keith Lee, you need to change your yeah. style. Nia Jax, you're perfectly all right killing people. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. Because exactly of nepotism. Right. And until it wasn't until it wasn't able to financially fucking fill their books anymore. Wait, think about way. this. Think about the name that Eric just said. That we've been saying <laughs> that she is a danger to that company and everyone around her. But she has connections with the Rock. They released her. Right. Even the Rock. Right. Right. Even the like Wise just... family ain't safe. They're not safe neither. Yeah. And here's right. the thing. And... Here's the thing. Here's the thing I right. said. Roman threatened to retire last year when the pandemic was at its high point because Vince clearly didn't care about anything and wasn't caring about the safety and testing stuff until it was literally too late. And Vince and Roman Reigns was willing to throw away all the stuff Vince gave him just to protect his family. So what do you think would happen when Nick Khan and his buddies in their circle of Vince and Dunn start messing with his family? Rain he's probably going to start something. He's bad. let me t- let me tell you some. Let me tell you some. Speaking of Keith Lee, I watched this guy in NXT. Keith Lee reminded me of fucking Bam Bam Bigelow. Absolutely. Bam 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 Absolutely. Bam Bigelow moved just like him back in the day. I mean you wouldn't see a guy like a, like Keith Lee size do anything like that because guys that are Keith Lee size couldn't even do the same shit that Keith Lee did. No, I mean, Keith, Keith Lee. Lee. That could do the things Keith, that Keith Lee did. The only people I think Keith, think of that can do Keith Lee stuff is yeah, Dominic yeah. Dijakovic and Brody Lee. Right, right. Keith Lee, I mean... The guy was a fucking fantastic wrestler that could go in that ring. And how, I mean, how can they go from messing Keith Lee up on Monday Night Raw? Just like, I mean, Keith Lee should have never been repackaged. He should have never had his entrance theme changed. I mean, the bask in my glory was the perfect entrance theme for him he was over as hell with the crowd and the bask in my glory entrance theme was a real head bobbing entrance theme that was so good and keith lee i mean i can hear i can hear i can hear the defenders now but mark my but mark i'll get to that i'll get to that oh yeah keith lee is gonna fry in AEW or wherever he goes, because he is going to be a totally different guy because he's not going to be that same guy that you've seen on Monday Night Raw. That no. I can tell you. He's going to go I back to what he you. did at NXT and take it to another level. Keith Lee is going to be like the old Keith Lee you once seen in NXT. He That's not better. He ain't exactly right. Keith Lee had world oh, honestly, here's the thing material written all over. From Pro Wrestling Gorilla, Keith Lee is what we're going to get back. That's what's going to come I, I do exactly think Keith right. Lee might, like, like, I think Keith Lee will likely tone it down his style, mostly because of the health problems. 
But beyond right. that, I think he'll be, good be point. able to do he's, he's more gonna stuff. he's gonna battle through those. I know him. That I know good Keith Lee. He's, we, we need, he's done. We need he's Keith done Lee, Lee versus Powerhouse Will Hobbs is what we need. We Guys, need Keith Lee versus Powerhouse. Yes. Okay. Or, okay. I, that I would be a great heavyweight collision between those two. Yes. Not a good but, one. But wait, point. wait, because I, I wanna I wanna point this out as well. All right, then Eric's trying to get a point. All the defenders. Go ahead. I'm gonna segue ahead, him James. into it anyway because we both probably have the same point. I'm just I'm waiting for the friggin' defenders of the WWE coming out right now. Oh, oh, but but Keith Lee picked his nickname, man. Yes, yeah, sure he did. Sure he did. You know why he picked his fucking name, numb nuts? It's because he had no fucking choice. That would be he had no the- choice. He was not given an option. To, to fucking keep his name. So, of course, he fucking picked it because he was forced to. Why do I feel like you James dumb Hebert, fucks? Why do I feel like James Hebert is the long-distance relevant of JDNY New York? <laughs> hey, I'm taking it. I'm looking because James yeah. is facts. Same. facts. Yeah, same. James does not bullshit. I mean, he tells right. it like it is. I, I like no, it. because because like sometimes it. you have to. That's why. Damn right. Damn right. You I mean, can't you can't can sugarcoat. You can't sugarcoat facts. No matter how much money you got behind like, you. And and that's another thing. And and and, and allow me to indulge myself. Uh, uh, indulge me for one moment to have the floor, and then Eric, we'll go straight to you. I promise, because I need to get this out there. All right. How how can it be so? fucking dumb with the IWC that you can't see facts when they're presented to you to your fucking face they're right there and then you choose to turn a blind eye and ignore this shit last fucking week on my goddamn Instagram I had to deal with some asshole basically saying oh Jim Cornette didn't say he wished death and threatened death on Omega no yeah you're right just everything that resembled fucking death how do people turn a blind eye to the facts when they're staring at them directly in the fucking face? Because in their realm of reality, facts like that don't exist. I, I, I'll say well, it you know again, what? I... If that's the fucking case, go over to the fucking political news sites and get the fuck off social media. Uh, but you're so... part of the problem, too. And I like to stress, I told I told you all this. I shared that gift someone found of the 1920s where wrestlers were doing the flips and kicks. You know, the thing that everyone says nowadays is killing the Not business. Not a single, and, and it should be blowing up way more than it fucking is, by the way. That fucking yeah, it gift should be found. blowing up with that tweet you did with that gift. She exactly. A lot more than it yeah, that was right definitely now. not enough uh, reprieve from that. That shows how stupid people are, dude, in this fucking community, and I hate it. I'm sorry I'm coming across as an asshole. If I am, I apologize. But this is so unbelievably dumb that you can't see facts when they're just presented to you. Keith Lee should have been a megastar in the WWE. Should have been a megastar. I was hoping he was the best prototype. I Everyone was liked him. Keith Lee versus Big E. But no, fucking. Especially on this heel run, this monster heel heel run. God for God forbid, go. uh, God forbid, the fucking wrestling fan gets what they fucking want with WWE. Now you understand why most people decided to say, you know what, fuck this, and they either don't watch wrestling ever again or they switch to AEW. So for those who are gonna not ask us AEW, why, now some, you know. Now you not only AEW, bro, but you also got the people like, I'm gonna go check out Impact. I'm gonna go check out New Japan. I'm gonna go check out NWA. I'm gonna go check out MLW. I might even check out AAA, All Japan, Pro Wrestling Noah, Stardom, Tokyo Joshi for that matter. Anything, anything. And what remains Any of the damn UK thing. Scene. But okay, l- let me get to my point about the d- the tribalist community of WWE. Um, tribalist. Yeah, they're actually general. pissed. They're pissed. Oh, they are. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, congratulations! What, what defenders, what, now what open defend, your okay. eyes. Okay, I noticed like several defenders who defended WWE or insulted me because I dare say we might be getting Julius Caesar in AEW moment. Yeah, that that happened. So <laughs> I, 
so this guy that really hates Cody talk I talked to him tried to reason out what did Cody do that was so horrible and then he just told me to get a job and get a life even though he doesn't know me so therefore he doesn't doesn't get it yeah, but okay do you it. remember this user running around on Twitter named Paul I'm not gonna say his last name or anything Paul he always talks about how AEW is evil and whatnot I'm sure that somebody here in ATW has seen that user I probably well, have well, here's what he said when the firings happened. Absolutely flabbergasted with some of these releases. Why? Just why? Fuck's sake, WWE. It's Bruce Pritchard and John Laurinaitis are the ones that need to be released. These out-touch dinosaurs are the problems, not the young talent who keeps getting punished and released for their incompetence. Actually, he, he went on like multiple threaded post saying this safe to say i'm done with wrestling i will never watch AEW, and wwe is making it very hard for me to want to watch that as well a company complete off the rails some of these releases are frustrating and completely unnecessary just pure greed disgusting i'm done fuck wwe and while i'll say i fuck AEW and fuck wrestling i think i will go back to debating politics and football with middle class snobs and shells wearing hubcaps stealing <laughs> scooters and to understand these releases, you need to look at guys like Nick Khan. All they see is profit. They don't see where, that these people are callously chopping on human beings whose dreams they are crushing. To them, these guys are just numbers on a spreadsheet. It's brutal and disgusting. And when someone was asking about, and then they also said, it's mind boggling the talent they have released. My effing God, if I was Triple H or HBK, I would be tending my resignation with immediate effect. I can't defend did WWE needs to chop a lot of these out of touch stuck up in the 80s dinosaurs and paper pushing suck ups like Nick Khan? So he definitely is malfunctioning because there's still a sense of, oh, I get it, WWE, I've always been a WWE guy, but even he's starting to realize now, oh, good God, I've been a wrong idiot this whole time. But you can, they approach you that can, as you can be a that. fan, good you luck. can be a fan of what you like to be a fan of. There's nothing wrong with that. Nobody yep. is going to deny yep. anything about that. When you fucking deny the truth and the facts of the matter, you are not a fan at that point. You are a stan, and you will defend them at any point, at any turn, no matter how wrong it is. And there goes my fucking camera. I don't even care, so I'm going to have to turn it off. But that's so my main I, point. He's going, Sammy Callahan, I see you, but I still understand the vocal points, and that's all that matters. But, but yeah, but now this, the, the former tribalist has now said, I'm done. I can't defend this. I can't defend this. I'm done. I may not like AEW, but I sure as hell can't defend the WWE. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, and then I talk, Then I chatted with another user who said, I can't keep defending WWE, and then this is what I wrote. Let me find the tweet. I made a bunch of retweets to people who tagged my post i did um about the cm punk uh decade ago promo where he cut on john laurinitis still i kind of how weird is it why you talk about this that that promo still to this fucking day is 100 percent accurate true accurate. Uh, actually there's two things uh, i want to bring up exactly before, I, right. before i bring that up um this is what I wrote to someone when they say it's getting harder to defend the company. Then I said, then don't. If you really love your favorite promotion, nothing wrong with it. But it's just as important to hold them accountable. I mean, I love AEW, and I've called them out for the mistakes they pulled. Yeah, I mean, AEW oh, yeah. is not for every single one of thing at blood and guts. We've seen the concussion situations back at All Out. We've seen some flaw, weird booking. No company's fucking perfect. But every company has their flaws. And if you're turning a blind eye towards what you love when they make those mistakes, you're an idiot. Yeah, and and, and yeah, look, one other and another person even said, WWE, you fucked up big time splitting up Carrie and Cross and Scarlet. Oh, that's yep. uh, as soon as that happened, oh. I knew that's when okay, it's over. Game over. But here's the thing, here's the thing I want to mention about the punk promo. It's only 99% accurate. You want to know why? 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 John Lowe and I didn't why call that? any of them. He emailed them all saying you're being let go for budget cut reasons. Oh, that's even worse. Couldn't even vocally yeah, right. uh, just send the freaking yeah. paper. People problem. You, you can't, you can't release. You, you can't, you can't release too. Budget cut reasons because of people power. Oh my god, don't remind me of that era. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. Uh, sorry, folks. Full sensitivity warning. Uh 
Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. I my my camera is all fucked. It's been fucked for weeks. It's all right, James. What's important is that we have your voice because again, your opinions matter and everyone's opinions no, matter. No, I know. I just when when I'm yeah, whatever. There's nothing I'm perfect from. in the world of professional wrestling. You like what you like, you can dislike what you dislike. You can tirade on what you want, but if you like something and you can't just simply point out when they are flawed or when they are wrong, especially from a moral standpoint, then something's wrong with you as a human being. And I almost wonder if you are a robot. Maybe that's why Google has everybody's a freaking robot. Right, because exactly. I'll admit it, I'm a fan right. of AEW. I love AEW. AEW brings me the most joy as a professional wrestling. Hey, that's a word for you. Professional wrestling fan every fucking week, four days a week. Are they perfect? Hail to the no. But here's the thing. They respect their talent. They respect professional wrestling. They respect the opinions, the authenticity, and the fans themselves. They don't insult their intelligence. And yeah, maybe there's a little bit of subtle bolstering once in a while, but this is fucking business. You don't do that. Get the fuck out of here because if you don't try and be number one, why the fuck you're here in the first place? And that's just called trying to Amen. be a great businessman. Whether you agree or disagree right. with it, I'm not a fucking billionaire. I'm not even a thousandaire. Amen. But damn to it, that. Amen if you're not going to that. show off some personality or some confidence, or some pride in what you fucking do. Get the fuck out of here, all right? Exactly. And, the fa- and, and by the way, exactly. right. Dummy is not for wrestlers. Dummy is not for professional wrestling. Dummy is for if you want to watch something shorter than As the World Turns or Dancing with the Stars or Lip Sync Battle or some other lame brain reality bullshit that you love to watch or binge watch five days a week. Yeah, and 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 let me add something to this because you you mentioned Amen to that. you Amen mentioned Noah. You mentioned just a minute ago, Noah, about how uh, yeah you you go in this business to be number one. Everybody has that goal, and there's a way to do it where you're still, god damn, uh, just functional as a human being, and you can get along with your damn coworkers. That is what AEW does so well. That's what AEW will continue to do so well. So for those who are going after Charlotte, everybody compared me to JD. Uh, here's one thing I fucking disagree with. His stance on Charlotte Flair. Why are we mad at Charlotte Flair? Why? Because she's in a fucking environment where it's encouraged to look out for yourself and no one fucking else? Because that's the fucking environment she's in. Same thing with Becky Lynch for the people blaming Becky Lynch for the situation. Okay. Same people that are going after Sasha Banks because of the situation going on with, with Britt Baker, which, by the way, she didn't even try to start shit with Britt Baker. She just fucking took a little bit of a fucking catchphrase. These fucking people are in an environment that is manufactured and created by a petulant man child who still thinks he's in fucking high school. That is where they are right now. So I'm sorry if I show a little sympathy towards fucking Charlotte Flair when it's not her fault to begin with. Granted, could she could, could she have a fucking different viewpoint on life? Not saying she shouldn't. Absolutely. I hope these fucking round of releases open her fucking eyes because she's probably next on the chopping block. And quite frankly, the minute that happens, get the fuck to AEW and stay there and never show back up there. And then not it all out on Talkies Jericho and enjoy time with your husband, illegal. And and here's the thing. Here's the thing. I wouldn't be surprised if anybody really thinks, okay, now that we fired all those people, Kyle O'Reilly, Kevin Steen, El Generico, uh, Johnny Dogano, you all want to resign? Yep. Yeah. Tommaso Champa. Dennis, and guess Dennis what? They're Ray, all who is right now on the no. leave. Exactly they're all right. They know because they know what's going to go down. They know what's going to go. What's going down right now? You think they're going to resign? No, they're, they're not. They are not. They're not. They are not fucking idiots. They are not going to resign. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, the first minute that their contract is up, they are out. That door in a skinny minute. I can only and imagine when Tina Bezos brought about up the fact that Mia Yim got released. That's one of her friends. I also he's best friend yeah. ever. And yeah. here's the thing. Brave, I, brave I, I honestly, I honestly yep. thought Zelina Vega was going to get fired out of nowhere because WWE is just evil. 
Everyone. Nope, she's still there for now. But again, no one is for safe. Now. Hey guys, you know yeah. what the next review is after Survivor Series, right? Day one. Day we just one. call that oh. day one. <laughs> yeah, God, God. Let me, let, me tell you. Let, let me tell you something. And let me tell you something. To Disney. Let me tell you something. If I could compare pay per views, January pay per view. A one, what the, f what the hell? Let me tell you something. I <laughs> rather take New Year's Revolutions over that bullshit of a pay per view called Day One. More like Doomsday. Like one of y'all said best. I mean, more like Doomsday. I mean, more like whatever the hell. More just, like, call it, just call it pig slip. Or call it or call it mm, Matt Bloody Massacre or what the hell ever. I mean why damn. not just call why not just call it New Year's Revolution? Oh wait, we already did that years back. Oh yeah, yeah. and that would that, that, yeah. be old, right? Yeah, that be we old. did. That would be old. That would be old. I mean, at least it was a better at least it's a better name than the stupid ass day one pay-per-view. Well, it's not the first stupid name they've done, Casey, and it certainly won't be the last. Yeah, and another yeah, came out yeah. too With NXT's, Great. not my NXT, Vince's NXT. Apparently, yeah. they're going to do their first takeover in this genre. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, what, whatever. Oh. That, what's it going to be called? Takeover? Great Balls of Fire? What? Uh, what? Probably winter Probably winter forecast. Who knows? Uh, James. Oh, oh, probably. Right There's another oh. duplicate James running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to. Like, yeah, y'all good, James. We got your voice here. You're uh, all good, bro. So, so yeah, I've already gone on my little tangent as far as you know, morale <laughs> versus you know monetary gain goes. Uh, King, your thoughts? You've been pretty quiet lately here. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna keep it simple, short, sweet to the point. If you still support that company. Yeah, just, just, just basically, if you, if, if, if you see my name on Twitter, just go ahead and block me. I don't have time to argue with your opinion. I don't have time to argue and basically cause drama with you because 100%, your opinion is irrelevant. Instead, come join this pro wrestling shared universe. Yeah. I mean, you see it in my background of this Zoom, of, of this, of this video. Basically, and, and that's not even that's enjoy. not even two percent of the shared universe. It, when you figure out every exactly. opportunity out there for somebody it, to just it, go out, have fun, and be a pro wrestler. Kylan King, for one thing, of course, who's been across multiple promotions, Mission Pro, because, right. in this, DC, CW, in this universe, the pro, wrestling, too many to name. Pro wrestling matters. That's what we care about in this family, and as well as across of all fans nationwide we care about pro wrestling because pro wrestling brings us joy to our faces pro wrestling brings us smile to our faces pro wrestling is here and has always been here and will be permanent here to stay and it's in a better be light now than ever with this shared universe through Tony Khan, the Forbidden Door, who many might say is at the top of it all. Oh, but oh wait, I just again, remember something. revolving door. What's up, Eric? Okay. Remember how John Moxley said that pro wrestling is like a comic book universe, like the Marvel universe? Well, you said it first, right. but yes. Oh, that reminds me. You said it first, but yeah, go ahead. But go ahead. Stephanie thinks that WWE is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, get and... out of here when she said oh, that. Get out of here. God, WWE no, wow. ain't no Marvel Universe. What? You gonna have Marvel? I mean, cinematic. They love their drama. Oh yeah, let's oh, have yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. Have the only draw they have is yeah, that's where the comparisons Sh stop, Noah. That's where the comparisons stop. The yeah. only draw they have is Roman, and let's be real, Roman's gonna probably be thinking, Yeah, I can't keep carrying this company. Like Big E's trying to help, but let's be real, I'm the one carrying everything. You put yeah, him on I'm Monday Night Raw, and the right. golden age is gonna die in quick weeks. Yeah, right. if it wasn't for Roman, and you wouldn't have a reason to watch SmackDown, let's be honest. And yep, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Roman Reigns is not going to be around WWE forever. I mean, this dude is going to be said getting, as much. He I said mean, as this much. dude is going to get be getting Hollywood offers like The Rock. I mean, Roman Reigns is going to be set for life 
I mean, he ain't going to give a shit what happens to him within WWE because, let me tell you something, I mean, hell. I mean, he'll get a lot of offers from AEW, MPAC, I mean, Ring of Honor, and MLW. I mean, and many Ring other Honor promotions. Is, uh, touch and go. Many, many promotions that are out there. I mean, Roman Reigns, I mean, I mean, he could more, more than likely go to Hollywood for all that we know. Just I mean, like the Rock, the Rock is in. It feels exactly. like the trend I mean, in WWE is Roman not Reigns. It's go Hollywood and stop let me wrestling. Tell you We're trying to wrestle. Roman, yeah, no Roman Reigns, the day that he leaves WWE for Hollywood because he's not going to be there forever, no. is I think that day that company is going, in my honest opinion, is gonna fucking die. I mean, we've all said that they're they not too big well to fail. Yeah, they might as well. They might as well just close up shop the minute they lose Roman. I, I'm Reigns. starting to wonder if that's what they're doing. I really am. I'm starting to wonder if that's we've been what talking doing. about. Don't even yeah. about maybe selling. Right, been thinking about selling the company at this point. It, it seems like more of a, of a right. real consistent. Oh no, it, it, they're they're selling the company. They they, they there, there was another oh, release most too. Definitely. There was a release in the creative department. It was like the yep. head of fucking total creative uh, control, uh, or whatever. When it came to the uh, actual designs, I it was of the stuff. vice president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. like fifteen years. They said in that report, fifteen years. Unbelievable. You've been that for that long, and he's gone. So I mean, right? There, there's only one instance of that happening, and that is they are essentially gone. They're right. going away. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Like, but, like I, I they're mean, preparing for a sale. It's not going to be family owned anymore. And if anybody needs to know why, and now you wonder why Triple H. And I don't care because no one else is going to say it. And I have the fucking balls, so I don't Shame. give a fuck. You wonder why Triple H had a goddamn cardiac incident. Fuck, I would too. Whoa. Dude, man. Well, I, I mean, don't care. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm fucking you're wrong. Not I'm wrong. Not you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Has not judging. Been not, wrong. Under Triple H. not judging. Not judging. All for, it, all for it to me, nothing in the end, by the way. You know what? That was stress that brought on Triple H's cardiac event with all due respect. I mean, that was stress. That was stress right there. And no wonder Triple H is bald right now and has doesn't have that long hair because he guy is stressed like crazy dealing with that bullshit. And no wonder... The company, or Stephanie too. Everybody, 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 everybody yeah, thinks that Stephanie's yeah, exempt from that too. But and everybody wants to hate Steph, and and I get it. Like she said some stuff, but she only says the dumb stuff when she's told to say it. And yeah, you wonder well, who exactly. that might. Be. At the end of the day, when you're the chief That's brand right. officer, you have to hold you know a different type of. Uh, yeah, but at the same right. time, she has admitted that Vince has his quirks. You know, like how he doesn't like when anybody or him sneeze, or else he'll go into a fit. Well, I mean, if anyone's going to share that, it's going to be Vince's daughter. Yeah. So when, this is how, about, how about when he straight up, and I and I mean this, I, oh, frick, I don't know what the hell is going on with my. All good, man. Continue your clock. And then Eric. It's all good, body. All good, dude. Continue. Yeah. I, I don't know. My, my thing's all good. Okay. So what I was going to say. Go ahead, Eric. Okay. Go ahead, Eric. Like, I've been saying this to myself for a while now, where I'm thinking WWE has now, after this, like, it's pretty much confirmed at this point, they have now, they can no longer go on their own right path. They can't go any path except one path, I think, the path of annihilation. Yep. Very much. Right. They're they're killing their own company. They're cannibalizing their own company. Like yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll people will say, right. "Well, they're making billions." Okay, you they pissed off Fox, oh, they pissed off P- USA and NBC Universal, they pissed off their wrestlers, they fired half like ninety percent of their backstage workers and now wrestlers, they fired their top merch movers, they fired their youngest prospects, and now it's like, okay, then what's left after Roman and Big E? What, what's left? Nothing. Like, like Goldberg, Becky, Goldberg like, and Brock Lesnar. 
You got like, me. Sean, here's the thing. Goldberg has one more match on his contract, and I wouldn't be surprised if he said, okay, we fire these people, we'll pay you. Well, again, it's, he's it's, the draw, right? Saying, he's the marquee can, man. He's the old let me, let me, guy. Let me, tell you, let right. me say this, too. Let me say this, too, because this is this – is, this is there's a point to this, right? You have all this stuff going on internally within the WWE, and I'm, I'm not even going to try with this anymore. This, yeah, just, just read your I mind guess name. I'm just you're audio. Right, right. I'm just you're audio. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So they tried through this whole thing to essentially, I, I don't even know, but to, to sell the company. Who's going to buy the company and, and continue the show? Is that the plan? Does Vince not want to do wrestling anymore if he's not around to run it? Because that's what it sure as hell seems like. I mean, to be fair. And, you know, know, that's costing a lot of people a lot of jobs. And and I don't care what anybody wants to tell you. I don't care what anybody wants to say. Everybody can go ahead and tell me, oh, well, it's Vince's company. He could do who he wants. You know what? Fair. But you know what? Here's another fucking food for thought. Is it not his responsibility to preserve the fucking future so their way that way there is more fucking jobs to be had? Yep, that goes all the way from the top. Mm-hmm. Right. It's selfish. That's what it is. That's what Vince always has been. That's what Vince is going to continue to be up until he dies. He's selfish and only cares about his bottom line, plain and simple, and doesn't give a fuck about anybody else. And probably would trade off the company to Nick Khan and Kevin Dunn. Who also only give a fuck about their own bottom bottom line, which is why they're firing half these people, by the way, to further their fucking pockets. Well, yeah. Honestly, bad. I'm kind of, a, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I've got a question. How would you all react if Nick Khan made the call, I'm firing Kevin Dunn after everything that's happened? Oh, I, bullshit. No, oh, that's never going to happen. Nah, okay, that's remember, remember. that will be the one yeah. time they do, they don't oh. because they're both uh, lining their pockets up perfectly. I'm about to say, when is Kevin Dunn and Vince Man ever separated? They never will. I mean, nah, like, nah, like, like, here's, the thing, no. here's the thing when it comes to Kevin Dunn. Okay, CM Punk revealed, they said, okay, Punk is... You can say whatever you want about us. You can trash Vince. You can call us out for being hypocrites with the Be A Star campaign. You can go ahead and call out the fans. Can you just not mention Kevin Dunn at, like, at all? Because we know everyone will love that more. Yeah. And again, people like, thought that Punk was going to get fired or something after that promo. And definitely he almost did. There was a top 10 list on Parks Fun Known done by Adam Blompier that was uh, read as such. And the title of the video was Top 10 Reasons Why the WWE Hate Its Fans. And every single one of them are spot on. And all the WWE seemed to be doing is just proving that point completely correct. Like, maybe, maybe they watch Russell Talk. I don't know. <laughs> No, well, I can tell you, I can tell you, AEW would watch fucking Russell talk before. Fucking, there, there, there's got to be people WWE. in all those companies that keep up with all the dirt sheets and all the video forums, etc. Again, every wrestling company have their niches, we, have their conspiracy, controversy, have their controversial, maybe management moments. But WWE for those is the number are, one source of it. And by the way, for those who are going to be like, well, aren't you guys just adding to that toxicity? And I'm like, but you know what? I don't know why we're toxic. Why are we toxic? Because we like wrestling and we want to see it succeed and thrive. Look, I'm not expecting every single creative idea that I fucking come up with to immediately be picked up by some wrestling company and they run with it. I don't think anybody in their right mind that wants to sit down and enjoy the product and just fucking turn their brain off to watch something that they genuinely enjoy wants that. None of us here are like that. We're just offering ideas because we love the business. We love pro wrestling. That's why we are on here talking about it. And for some reason in WWE, they do this fucking term where we're marks. And then that's where the fucking damn flame war starts on social media. And it's constant bickering back and forth between two sides who honest to God, 
if Vince would get his head out of his ass one time, should honestly be working together to actually improve upon the wrestling industry as a fucking whole. Yep. When you have guys like Kazuchika Okada saying something like that and other fucking individuals in the industry saying that because they want more money, they want more fucking eyeballs on the product because they know their work is good. They know they can get people into the buildings. That should fucking tell you something. Instead, they're purposely driving a wedge because if I can't do it, pal, no one fucking can. I'm being, I have to I'm, be the first I'm, I'm, get, I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting the Ghostbusters flashback what Sony did and causing that war. Oh boy, that's a whole different war with the whole media industry. But again, like, like James said, and you gotta consider this: everybody there under the WWE, at the end of the day, is just somebody trying to do either what they love or provide for their family. So, real right. talk: these are real people right. being affected by this. That's, that's why I'm so pissed. That's, that's why right. everybody's so pissed. And don't I, get me I, wrong. I, 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 I everybody's just gonna also, find a job. By the way, yeah, I want to point that yeah, out. Exactly Every single person's right. gonna find a job. But why does it have to fucking be that way? When you figure That's out why that this pissed. was their dream. This was their dream. And they, they had all, for life. They had yeah. all the talent in the fucking world to be the top echelon of that company. And not one of them decided, you know what? Let's go with that guy. Even the people that are lower are, are that were lower mid card and that they didn't see anything with. So how the fuck do you not find a spot for them on the card? I mean, you can say how many platforms W has alone. Why is AEW with a bloated roster doing a better job managing their talent on all fronts right now than what WWE does when they are the number one fucking company? You know why? You know why they don't? They're doing a bad job because they don't fucking care, and that's what pisses us off more than anything. Because everybody else. Whether you're a fan of WWE or a fan of AEW is telling you that these fucking guys are talented and they do nothing with them. Not sitting, a single thing with them. Sit in catering, tell a story. WWE uh, only cares about money. When it comes to yeah, AEW, exactly. we have an owner who cares about talent. We but also have thing, an owner the, that's right. who here's cares thing, about us fans. See, like King finish, Eric. Yeah. Because Tony Khan cares about us fans. Tony Khan cares about his stats. Tony Khan cares about every single wrestling promotion in the United States all around the world. We have an owner who Including that. Ring of but Honor, by the way. Missing. Including Ring of Honor, who he just signed a bunch of fucking talent and from reports that are fucking being rumored, just paid a down payment to keep Ring of Honor alive. Exactly. Exactly right. Tony I'd much Khan. rather a guy like that than a guy who wants to run everybody out of business on fucking purpose. Because he wants to up. be the only one in the competition. Yeah, he wants yeah. to be the top dog. Yeah, exactly right. Let me, well, Tony let me Khan just simply wants to bring everybody and let, bring forward pro wrestling. Let me tell you something. Looking at the two owners, I mean, between Tony Khan and Vince McMahon, I mean, Tony Khan... Don't that right, right there is a good guy that gives a shit about his town. I mean, and by the way, for those shit. who are gonna say, for those Go who are gonna say, oh, he he also worries about the money. Nobody's fucking denying that he's no, not no. always thinking about the money. No. Of course, if you're in business, as no one just said, you're obviously yeah. wanting to make money. You know right. how you make the best money possible? Appeasing your fucking staff and using yeah. them properly. Exactly. And Tony believing Khan. who exactly. you're trying like, to sell to. Exactly. Tony it's sort of like how I people mean, say say about the gaming industry where they say, hey, instead of all these loot boxes and microtransactions, how about you just make good games? Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly right. Let there me you tell go. You. <laughs> Tony Khan, I mean, he gives a shit about his talent, number one, and he has a heart for professional wrestling and flat out loves it. I mean, he's doing a better job with a bloated roster than WWE ever did in their entire lives because Tony Khan, I mean, he he makes billions and billions of dollars. I mean, yeah. I mean, he ma he's a billionaire and all, but he, I mean, he gives a shit by 
keeping his employees happy and satisfied. And Tony Khan is not an idiot. I mean, he gives a shit about fans. He doesn't want to lose viewership. Can we also talk about this as well? Like, the fact that Tony Khan has has the roster he has now is because of his human empathy. Which is everybody has been waiting for years in the internet. That's right. I was waiting for the word. That's right. The empathy. Go ahead, James. The empathy that this man shares is baffling to me. I wish more people were like Tony Khan in the IWC. Yeah, granted. He's pushed back against the WWE. I would eventually do. Not everyone's fucking perfect. No. But the fact that no, he has exactly had right. a heart of gold when it came to the Martha Hart situation and the Brody Lee situation, like the fact that he, uh, the Brian Pillman situation, like all these different things that he got involved in and, and tried to make right on when he simply didn't have to go as far as he did, but he fucking did. You know how many fucking people would kill for a boss like that? Why discourage that? Why? I don't get that. that. This is, this is the, this is the man who not only got sting when he left this business "Quote unquote," made him love the industry again. And yes. this is also a man who brought back CM Punk after seven yes. years. Yes, exactly. And CM Punk now passion has returned to professional wrestling, all because of that one man right there, and Tony Khan. And Tony Khan. It's forever changing the modern era of professional wrestling in the 21st right. century because and Tony Khan should be embraced. It Tony should be Khan, embraced, not discouraged. Tony Khan will forever go down as one of the great professional wrestling owners of the 21st century because Tony has did what no other wrestling promoter has done in the 21st century. I mean, Tony literally brought back professional fucking wrestling to the fans. I mean, Tony... To the mainstream. I mean, let, he, let, let, let's yeah, put that To the mainstream, the mainstream media, mainstream audience. And Tony Khan, I mean, with AEW, I mean, they're thriving right now because Tony does business the smart way that, like anybody else. And he's like one of the best promoters the wrestling business has ever had, number one. Yeah, number two. Go for it. Number two. And what what professional wrestler wouldn't want to have a boss like that in Tony Khan? And if you go to AEW and sign with them, consider yourselves lucky because it's wrestling heaven over there and you're going to be treated like a star. If you're I there mean, to contribute the, to pro wrestling, if you're yeah, there to yes, not run it yes. do the work, then yes. AEW is the place for you to make yourself yes. a professional wrestling yes. fan happy for the rest right. of your life. That's right. That's right. Tony Khan wants people that are workers and that can do the work. And that AEW. know and love he, pro wrestling. Yes, exactly. And he doesn't want anybody that that oh i could do two three matches a year i mean he don't want that bullshit aw is thriving right now and right and they you are do you I'll, I'll just give you a scope of how many people that got brought Go back ahead. all right yes mike's girlfriend who's never watched wrestling in her fucking life my dad who hasn't watched wrestling in years colleen another person who's a sister to me, who's never watched wrestling in her life. Austin, same thing. Austin Matunsky and WYW, same thing. Started watching wrestling for the first time ever with AEW. Hadn't watched wrestling other than casually with the WWE. And he loved it. I know plenty of fucking people that were either lapsed fans or casual fans that now tune into AEW regularly 
because of the stuff they are doing. They got to be doing something right. Exactly. Something. And the reason why AEW still is around to this day when people were rounding it off for dead literally after the Las Vegas thing and the double or nothing event in 2019. And here we stand two years later and six months almost to the day, still all elite and damn proud of it. Amen. And, look, and so listen, again, it's not, it, 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 when it comes to these releases, it's not about we hate WWE over AEW because we love the talent there. We don't like the corporation. It has nothing to do with us versus them at all. I want to make that very clear right now. It's about the talent that should have been big stars no matter where they went and the place that they happen to be at miss fucking use them. And that is exactly 100% right. on them. Exactly That's it. Right. That. The summary of this entire I mean, discussion. The talent, so the talent has. within the talent within WWE are flat out awesome and they're very good good wrestlers. The problem oh, is you yeah. got the corporate bosses that don't give a shit about them. There's companies out there that would let them thrive. WWE doesn't let them do that at all. Doesn't, WWE doesn't generation. give a chance. WWE does not allow opportunity to either sink or swim. Why you can maybe exactly. get something for you in the independent scene just to have some fun right. in a moment like Genocide and Counting King did in Mission Pro. You can't even do that for five damn minutes in your women's division in the WWE. That's right. That's wrong. Exactly right. I'd like wrong. to also mention they yeah. even punish wrestlers who get over by mistake. Rusev Day. Oh yeah, fucking poor. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and, and you know what? And and you know what? As stupid as that was on the WWE's part, which makes us pissed as fans, it made us rejoice when he came to AEW because he got to do everything that he's wanted to fucking do. Yes. So far. He, yes. got show his, he got to show his comedic chops. He got yeah. to show his serious side in a much different light. And he yeah, became right. That's a right. multi-tool player and look, just by jumping ship. Get, and look, we're about to get in nine nights. Brian Danielson versus and Miro. Miro. Yeah. Who the AEW fuck would have been excited yes. for that? Final. Yes. I'm stoked for that match. I'm stoked so for that I. match. Everybody else... If this were to happen in the WWE, nobody would have batted an eye because it's happening oh. in AEW and they let the wrestlers be themselves. And that's it what it comes down to. Individuality, self-creativity input. They aren't allowed to say do everything they want, but they can do much more with themselves and flourish being themselves. We we saw the biggest example. You know right. what the saddest part of this too is? We talk about how they misutilize talent, right? We talk about top talent, especially. We talked about mid cards for a little bit. We don't even talk about bottom tier guys that exactly. shouldn't really be bottom tier. Exactly. But um, they're like, great workers. They could be used and, on your product to put forward other I'm wrestlers. Gonna, I'm going to bring a name up that I know, and this is why I, I don't consider, I'm my own guy. I, like, I'm not related to JD in any sense. Nobody's related to anybody in, in any sense, right? But here's another <laughs> thing I disagree with on JD. Baron Corbin. Everybody shits on Baron Corbin. Answer me this. Why? Did you not see the work he did in the next T when he was green as goose shit and how much he improved over time while he was working with guys like Apollo Chris? Do you? I still remember how amazing he was as a heel, talking trash to Apollo, talking down like the uh, like a tremendous heel. That was some of the best work Baron Corbin ever did in his entire career, and it feels like a lifetime ago. And yet somehow right. he's still trying to make it work by flexing this new character. Happy you know Corbin. what? And you know what? Let me let me uh, let me let me give you the fucking answer for you, Corbin. Don't, don't. Honest, honest to God, get the fuck out of there. You'd be doing so much better if you got out. Guaranteed. Well, the other day, honestly, he would honestly, I think Baron Corbin, if he left, he would be basically Matt Cardona's level of heat. 
Oh fuck yeah, and he would be the oh, biggest heel in GCW yeah. by by God, far. Yeah. Bye bye, and, and, and I'd like to point out another thing. I just re- I just remembered. Isn't Tyler Valkyrie and John Morrison a couple? And now yes, yes they, they are, are married. Are. They're both married. Yep. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure John Morrison's like. Uh, who's yeah, going to? It Speaking yeah, of GCW. Blake Christian didn't waste no time because uh, Blake Christian returns to GCW December 4th and December 17th. There you so we go. didn't waste right. no time. Because the NXT right. 2.0 also, contracts do not relate to the main roster contracts. Well, also, <laughs> I'd like to point something out. We haven't mentioned this at all. 2K's got to cut the ties with them. Oh yeah, yeah, they got to. They freaking got to at this point. Definitely, yep. they, they got, got to. Yeah. I mean, don't even. There's no to way they're making them. the money off those games anymore. They're just recycling no. and literally putting on a new cover. They got they're to. Not, they're not. How are they going to do it? Like they like fire. Did 2K22 like, even get released yet, or is that still? Oh, no, no, it's come, oh no, 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 no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It got it's delayed. Coming next, it's coming out next year, and they're pissed because Vince wanted to accelerate the date. He wanted it this year, but they said, we got to delay it. We got to earn the fans' trust back. Then they crashed at the finish right before they could start. They crashed when they announced, we're doing microtransactions. Yep. They went the 2K yep. basketball route. And, and now and now they already admitted, yeah, we're not going to have an up-to-date roster. This roster is completely broken. It's the most out-of-date roster we've had because everyone's being fired left and right. Exactly. Again, I'm right. To, I, 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 I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, and I, and I mean this. There's probably great development on the AEW game already, and I know they got that, jokes. Of course, there is. Yes. Oh, back to I, I know. I know. So this is why I say, honest to God, I think 2K would have a better fucking chance at getting a license deal with AEW at this point, joining with Ukes again than to stick yes. with this WWE nonsense. And right. I think that's going to exactly. happen sooner rather than later, by the way. Yeah, Just I keep agree. in mind, the development for the game is already being done by most of the fucking roster. So 2K doesn't have to do a fucking thing. All they have to do right. when they come in is just smooth out the edges. Right. That's all they got to right. do. Exactly. Because they have a team working on it. It's not a rushed project. They're not putting it out until they're ready to put it out. Mm, that's yeah, and I and I would like to mention, I wouldn't be surprised if 2K22 next year is the last WWE game by them. Yeah, I wouldn't surprise you. Yeah. Uh, also, go um, th- there's a story I wanted to mention regarding WWE's complicated history with people. Tyler Breeze revealed something. Okay, does anyone uh, remember his ESPN documentary he had? Yes, he yes. Had 60. He was part of the whole NXT thing. Yeah, you want to know what, what he revealed just uh, f- uh, just yesterday? On our sessions, he nearly got fired afterwards from it. Yeah, he was. they were planning yeah. to fire him after the documentary aired and was like, oh, dear, um, he's cheered. Okay, uh, never mind. You, you can stay. Well, they yeah, had because every NXT intention to fire him. And Tyler Breeze is a hell of a businessman. He, he, he prolonged his goddamn career. That, he really that did. Shows he did the, what he that really shows the smarts of fucking Tyler Breeze, to be honest. I mean, it's stupid that he has to go to those lengths, but, I mean, it, it also shows how reliable of a fucking talent he was. I hope to hell that him and Johnny Curtis both go to AEW. I think they would be perfect for the tag division, honest to God. Well, yeah, very, very well, we've been, well, we've been only focusing on AEW primarily and WWE and the perspectives of the corporate and the morale. Let's not count out everything else in the wrestling industry, too. You know, it comes to like actually, right, actually, so like you know what? W, NWA, they all have a Sorry, hold on. I, but I, all I those companies need to respect their talent a whole lot more and give them the chance more often to sink or swim. Yeah. I take I mean, it back, there... by the way. Hold yeah. on. I take it back. I, I do take it back because I just I just realized those two men probably would be a better fit as a stable with the inspirations. And I see them more so as what, what Impact Wrestling needs, a change of chance. They need a deeper chat because you got to find somebody to take on the good prize that's not Finn Juice. Yeah, Tyler yeah, and, and Johnny Curtis. Like, and I know we were talking about WB2K earlier, 
but this is what the character screen gonna look like when as soon as the game come out, they might even have a 2K <laughs> roster by then. You can tell. <laughs> oh, I mean, they probably, they probably could put in Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal. They could put in Ricochet. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh, I want to see like man. four people on that selection screen. To be fair, there's only four people I'd that see. truly are on top in the WWE. Who, who are the members of the of that are on there? Ouch. It was uh, uh, it was Cena, Orton, Goldust, and I forgot the Cesaro. Those are the four characters that would be four wrestlers on that screen. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, I have a whole dozen wrestling promotion. Yep. And, and Strike is old wrestling promotion. Dustin yep. Reynolds. Dustin Reynolds. Yo, Dustin Reynolds is going to make it, game. dude. Dustin Rhodes is legitimately going to make a hell of a fucking fortune in uh, third party sales. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. Dude, You're not wrong. I think a lot of people are. <laughs> yeah. Because if that's any indication of what the 2K game is going to look like. Oh, I man. Don't, man, don't matter me. I haven't bought two K games. In it's year. just reaching. It's like it's reaching a point. Like, uh, okay, so Adam Cole even came out and said the AEW fans help build the brand of AEW just like they did with NXT. Yep. Yeah. Guess what? Most yeah, of those right. AEW. Guess what? All those. Uh, most of the AEW fans were at one point NXT fans. Hi, hi, NXT how you fans. Doing? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Adam. We've we 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 like you because we've seen you for a while. Uh, also, um, remember how Big Show always joked about the whole what? face and heel twists turning around? Yes. And yeah. The forty-two yeah. different times he did. Yeah. It. yeah. Guess what he revealed? What? Guess what he revealed? Yeah, he was super right. frustrated with that with that joke. I, I, I mean, I would be too. I mean, literally, it, it was like, okay, we're just going to put you in this spot because you're a big dude. Hey, raise your hand if you saw this turn coming. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> I, I like him once in a while just beating up three random people, though. This, this is fun. This is fun to watch. <laughs> But, yeah, yeah. Are you saying that the that AEW knows how to utilize Paul White better than a WWE? It's possible. It's possible. Oh my! <laughs> I never would have guessed. <laughs> Look, all, all I'm gonna say is this: the well, AEW, they, they, dude, they can literally do a fucking a literal trio bear country, and Big Show would fit right the fuck in there. <laughs> Dead serious, he would. <laughs> Dude, I would I would love to see that trio in action just bear one white. time. I would love to, you know what? Bear Do it with white. the gun club. Bear Paul or Bear White. Have the gun club get their comeuppance <laughs> with Big Show and Bear Country. Perfect. Bear James white just booked a future six. I think I think James just booked a future six man tag match. Bear Boulder. Tony Khan, you have permission. Bear Book it. Wow. Bear Boulder, Bear Bronson, and Bear White. Or Bear Paul. Or yeah, Paul. dude. Yeah. yeah, dude. Instead, of, instead of Paul White, he can now have an actual wrestling name that's similar to the Big Show, Bear White. Remember, he had a bear on his logo, or so bear it all show. ties in. All bear right, show. all right. That's <laughs> <laughs> went into a whole different they, right. Dude, they even, uh, dude, they even have beards. They're the they're the Perfect. bearded bears. It's perfect. <laughs> the three giant lumberjacks <laughs> clubbing around the ring. Flattening people. Wow. They're lumberjacks and they're okay. They sleep all night and they work all day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> James is broke. James is we broke. Need, we, need my, uh, we need Monty Python to sing them down to the ring. I oh, no, 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 Oh my Mackie god! Well, or or have the person, Mackie or have the person that did the uh, the the vocals for "He's a man." Yeah, he's a man. He's a man. All right, that's not gonna work. That's for one. Person. Okay. Just, just, okay. Eric, okay. Eric has a thought. Eric has a thought. Okay, what's your thought? What's your thought, dude? Did Did you all hear what Michael Cole came out said today? Uh, that he had sixty five percent hearing he loss. Hearing loss of sixty five percent. Yeah. And I can imagine who did it. Yeah, uh, I'm going to need you to say this and say this. And I'm going to need you to say that. I'm going to need you to say this. I, go, go ahead. Say, repeat, say, this. Say, repeat this again. 
Repeat this again. Repeat and again, I mean Michael. this, and I, I mean this with with every fiber of my being. I feel so bad for Michael Cole. I, I really, really do, do too. Yeah. Same, Same here. here. Same despite here. despite how we might initially interpret him, you cannot deny that this man has somehow made this job work for over 20 years. Well, here's another thing. It, everybody thinks he's not good at his job because of what he does on Monday night. It's Vince who makes him do what he does. I know, I know. Exactly. Like 2% of his entire career, Young he was class. not Vince influence. And that was the only time people literally grabbed May Young it Classic it United Kingdom fun. Tournament. Yeah, May Young Classic United Kingdom Tournament, 100%. That's it. I f- I feel so bad for Cole. I really do feel bad, dude. Okay, okay. I just heard something stupid. Oh shit! Why? There's always something. Okay, stupid. Let, let's see. What, more always WWE dumb? dumb. Yeah, no, more WWE something. dumb. And actually, oh, no, lovely. Let me hold oh, on. Great. Hold on. Wait before you before you go on. Let me just I, get I an object ready. to bash myself over the head with as I <laughs> no, lose no, my no, 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 no. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 you can do no, that no, after. <laughs> Okay. All right, Tom, do that. Okay. Right. Yep. So, okay, WWE has these figures coming out on the IGN store. Uh huh. Correct. Uh huh. Action Continue. figures. Yep. Continue. The fiend is on it. <laughs> they put Bray Wyatt as his figure to sell after they fired him, and now he's no com- now he has under no compete rules. Mm-hmm. Continue. <laughs> And they're charging you 11 bucks for it each. Yep. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. The brain cells are slowly dying, man. Continue. James, you got and... more to live for than this, man. So long, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, it's... no, I'm still living. I'm just going to become dumber. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, this was all put together before Dunnery fired him out of nowhere. <laughs> So, oh, Vince <laughs> so I'm curious to know, is Bray Wyatt even gonna get money out of this? No, no, he don't. No money. Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. And he probably will try and sue to get money out of it, and will lose the lawsuit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, that's enough brain cells lost for I've heard of day. Simon Miller going, "Why? Oh but man, patting himself in the head with an empty Pepsi bottle." Okay, that takes the cake. Here's why. Here's why. <laughs> what? Holy shit. You got a win, win, win. I still say Bray Wyatt shows up at full gear. I'm just calling it now. I think we, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, most yeah. Definitely. Yes. Yes. oh my insides. Yeah, absolutely. My insides are on fire. That was. That was my insides are on fire. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure what else to say beyond that. Again, I'm just sort of going to say this. To all oh, those man. that have been unfortunately released from what may have been literally in your own minds, your dream job to provide for your future, to provide for your families that either you have now or want to raise, or to thrive in what you love, and that is at the end of the day, being a wrestler, being an entertainer, connecting with the fans. I wish you all nothing but the best in this shared wrestling universe. May you continue your passion in wherever you go going forward, and may you find better morale and still sustainable income too and that's all i gotta say about and, uh, yeah I, amen. in other words we're sorry that your dream turned into a nightmare hopefully your dream can be reinvigorated somewhere else amen amen for that amen and whether it's impact that. njpw mlw aew anything on that screen and anything not on that screen you can find your passion buddy murphy did you can too also um the former Bronson Reed. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Had, Jonah yeah, Rock. Had, right. Yeah, he had a tweet recently. Um, appears to have been... Uh, this is what he wrote two hours ago. My brothers and sisters, that place is not the be-all, end-all. You will thrive and prosper because in the end, pro wrestling always wins. Oh, shit. I, I was about to hit myself over the head because I thought something stupid was coming. But you know what? Now that's a noble statement, and that's a hell of an encouragement. That's no, great. he also did post Squid Game reference gifts. Oh God damn it, Jonah! 
<laughs> and just like that, it went from there and there. Yeah. Just like yeah, he posted right before, right when the firings were happening, where he had those guards from Squid Game saying, "I would like to extend a heartfelt welcome to you all." Yeah, I don't know what they are to be honest. I just yeah. did that because he said something else. I'm like, ah, perfect time. Well, that that does bring up a good point too. I mean, there is one last, there is another preview happening as well. That is the end of the one last preview too. Some people could show up there for all we know too. So oh, yeah, yeah. right. Oh, yeah, he's actually dealing with visa issues. That's why he hasn't come back yet. Oh, yeah, no, he'll, oh. he'll, he, he said, I think yeah. he's already got those under. Uh, I don't <laughs> think that's, he says, uh, there are rumors coming out now that he said he locked a deal down, and that's what that GIF was tweeting about. Well, good for so, him, because again. I, th- I think he's just right. playing the kayfabe, but I'm hoping I'm hoping that's the case. I hope that's that rumor face, is true. Saving face, apparently. I mean, hey, Chelsea Green finally figured out her visa. Good for her. So. Mm-hmm. I, right. I hate it. it's, just, it's just it's just kind of amazing at this point where things are going. I'm like I'm still like I said. I think WWE is now just put themselves on only one path, the path to annihilation. And it's not a final right. countdown; it's a long countdown. But there is eventually going to hit zero, and I definitely agree with you. Yep. Agree. The path same. Uh, same. To here. annihilation. And to those that are still well, there, I own the that trademark. Oh, uh, pal. To those that are still there that I do appreciate, like Kevin Owens, like Cesaro, like Biggie, like Shinsuke Nakamura, the list goes Everyone on and on. Man, women yeah. yeah right. Okay, okay. I still say Cesaro luck, should right. not complain since he since he resigned. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, again, Cesaro, he loves what he does, but I have a shirt. He is a wrestler at heart, but he loves oh. the people he worked with. So he wants. Oh, to by the way, you know what? I'll give him. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. But the problem yeah. is, he he's now signed to a company where all those people that he loved to work yeah. with are now going to be going away. And again, yeah. and also, again, it's like, I like to it's stress. Like, Pride didn't realize it. Pride didn't think about it, and now there's no turning back. Well, I would like to also mention Big E still trying to wonder how on earth is Cesaro not even a champion, world champion. I mean, yet. honest, honest to God, I've been wondering like, that. Also, well, Cesaro yeah. was locked down to Been a fucking contract. Can we can we just bring this up though for a second? Like everybody's saying, oh, Cesaro is gonna be gonna be locked down forever now. And like at this fucking point, with that, the way everything's going, he'd probably just do what Grand Metalik and Lindsay Dorado did, ask for his release, and they'll fucking give it to him. Like that's how fucking far we've gone. Like the complete one eighty to what they were trying to do when they hoarded the talent like two years ago. We've gone to complete 180 now. So yes. I'm pretty sure Cesaro should, could just go, hey, remember that contract I signed? Can I just be released because this isn't fun for me anymore? And then they'll fucking give it to him. Well, again, he already came really out. Really well. Like, yeah, 2021 started strong for me, but since then, mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure where all this is going to go at this point. It, 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 no, me neither. I think this Lord, is the last Lord one. help think, every good person that's there under the WWE banner. I, yes. I'm curious yeah. to know. I'm curious to know, guys. We got to ask. Do you think there's only one month left of this year? Do you think that is going to pull one last firing of sorts? Yes. They will. Yes, yes. I, yes they will. Fair, they'll do it literally around that the holiday. Definitely. I fear they literally will do it. Most Before definitely. day one. Most oh, definitely. Oh, imagine if they do it on day one. That's what I was thinking. Mm, yeah, it's the holiday more. season. That's most definitely. And more budget cuts. I need to release more talent. What the fuck is his name? Get him the fuck out. <laughs> Look, at this point, I will say this. I, I'll just say this. I'm glad so far that Casey's fame is still there. Oh. Yeah, let me tell you something. Here we go. I wish. I mean, some people that I like are right there within WWE. I mean, I wish the likes of. Let me see. Damn. <laughs> who, who the hell's left there? But anyway, uh, it's Styles. Well, AJ. <laughs> I think it, it, it's funny because Casey was trying to be like so like humble and wholesome and he's like fuck who's left 
Yeah. He's not wrong. Funny about yeah. that. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't even trying to be an right. asshole on purpose, but that's right. how it would come across to anybody. But else. the series where they actually book right. on nobody left and give yeah. screen time to you almost forget who's actually there. Right. Yeah. Right. And, uh, okay, okay, so I, I hey, wish uh, the lights. to everybody in NXT UK, watch your back too, by the way. Because yeah. I don't God. think that's yeah. gonna stop there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let me tell you some. To watch your back front NXT, and sideways. People in NXT UK with the likes of Bea Priestley, Exia Brookside, Nico Sadamora, Flash Morgan Webster, Subculture, Wolfgang, I mean Wolfgang and Gallus. Gallus Gallus, uh, every single one Gallus, of them. Tyler I feel Bates, like I feel like Tyler they're Bates, all gonna Trent go. Seven. Tyler Bates, like Trent Seven, watch your backs in NXT UK. Probably. And to some uh, that are left in WWE, I mean, I mean, Dakota Kai, wishing nothing but I, the I best of luck with this current it is. NXT under Virgin. like Vince and the corporate management. I mean, uh, if something don't happens, go to the main roster, if, stay, if, stay in NXT. I mean, UK. Dakota Kai just. I mean, just pull a Tommaso Ciampa. That's all I got to give you and stay within NXT. Just take a page I'm, out of I'm, I'm, You know what? I'm not there. even convinced that Ciampa's going to stay now. Yeah. Nobody's safe. Not a single person you. in that company is safe. Not even you. Owens Let me tell you safe something. now. After Nia Jax was you. just fired. I, so, uh, I would say, I, I would say again, I mean, Nia Jax most surprising I is mean, the most shocking. I mean, let me tell you, I mean, Dakota Kai, I mean, no matter if what, I mean, she's not even safe either because she no. could be on that list as well. It probably is. I yes. guarantee you she's at More, the top of that, unfortunately. Yeah, de definitely is on that list. I mean, Dakota, if something happens and you end up being on that list, release from there just Me, so you man. know it's not the AW. end of the world it's not not the end of the world there's AEW and all that but there's, there's, there's where you can try that else, all things wrestling yeah, outside exactly. of the fucking WWE yes, yes exactly Dakota oh. there's AEW and all these wrestling promotions that would appreciate I'm your talent and you would try there I'm not but, in the wrestling business pal I'm in the sports entertainment business. Did did anyone hear about what what WWE pulled at UBS Arena? No, let me get the bottle again. Oh no. Okay. So, <laughs> no. Okay. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Remember what the first thing they did? They announced Roman for the show. Yes. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now they announce. Now they announced. Uh, oh, buy one get another ticket. Two ticket pack. Buy one get one free. No. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah a two pack, <laughs> but a two pack ticket. So don't leave. <laughs> so don't leave. Got even more desperate. To, yesterday, you want to know what they did? Oh, oh no! What did they oh, do? Oh no! What did they do? Now they said, okay, we are definitely not competing with AEW because they're kicking our ass in this specific arena, but uh, we're going to have the Bloodline versus Drew McIntyre in the New Day, and we're going to have four packs of tickets. Oh, that's great oh. short-term hotshot booking. <laughs> I'm worried about James. I'm worried about James. I it's really so good. I'm hot worried shot. about James. Yeah. Oh, 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 and guess what? They're not having Big E involved in this. They're calling it Drew Day. What? Drew Day? What? Yeah, they're calling it that. What? Drew Day? <laughs> Four pack of tickets. Get it now. And Big E is your WWE champion. Oh, well, it's reported God. to be a dark match, oh, but currently God. unknown at this time. <laughs> the fact that they're doing that on a dark match, okay, shows you what they feel about Big E being the WWE champion. Ah, how's that Lashley non-title run going for you, huh? 
Oh, 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 oh. Hot shot booking matters in WWE. Yeah, it's fine. Give me a break. At its finest. Give and, and here's me the thing. Here's the thing. That. Here's the thing. WWE no. Raw is only at fifty-eight percent of ticket sales, whereas AEW is at eighty. Oh, I think wait, that sounds about right. AEW oh. at eighty percent. Oh wait, didn't I say earlier? Pro wrestling matters. There you go. And it's I'd like to mention this is in New York, crazy. you know, the home of the McMahon dynasty. Oh, the, the, the home and one of the ass. most passionate. Oh, yeah. They lost that, that home when Ring of Honor that, showed that. The McMahon dynasty was dead and buried whenever they approached Queens. That was dead and buried. Not even exactly just that, right, it was. Not even just that, bro. That that dynasty was long dead when Ring of Honor and Triple A showed up at their fucking doorsteps and New Japan. Exactly. So come exactly on, right. I mean that's that's. That, uh, that, that's and now we got GCW life. heading towards the Hammerstein Ballroom next year. Yes. Yeah. Also, I I would like to mention this when you were talking about how Vince is literally a high school edge lord. Uh, you know he's he's a combination of that and Caillou. But yes, go ahead. You want to know what they, you want to know what where came out? Vince McMahon was shown in his high school years his uh, yearbook, the the yearbook, oh, and oh, guess no. what they said they thought he was going to be a wrestler. You, you want to know what he thought he was going to be, James? What everyone at, at that high school thought? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. The bottle, the bottle Go ahead and tell me. President of the United States. Because <laughs> 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 one oh, evil maniacal oh, maniac who didn't know what he was doing was, was wasn't enough. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Um. Yep. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, the day of the United States. What? <laughs> oh, what the? What the hell? Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me rephrase that. What? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, yeah, they thought he was going to be president of the United States with how he presented himself and how he acted in high school. And I'm thinking, <laughs> look, we already had one egomaniacal, crazy psychopath running around with power. Man. We all know you're what happened to man. that result. <laughs> Uh, you're fired. <laughs> I can't. I I don't want to even imagine the idea if Vince was president of America. Oh. <laughs> we'd be dead. We'd be dead. We'd be dead. We'd be we'd dead. Fox. Oh, we'd be dead. Fox. Um, oh, yeah, hold on. Hold on. The, Don. My brain cells are losing more <laughs> as time goes on with every heartbeat. Maybe I should. Hold maybe on. we should wrap this up. <laughs> God damn. Hey, by the way. Oh, oh. By the way. Yeah, Vince McMahon as the as the United States president. Oh boy, that will go over really well for the freaking oh. people of other races because he'll just find them as comedy. Be like, hey, come over here and uh, perform for me. Pow. You know, like they do with our truth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's that's hey, even that's not fucking racist at all, Vince. Yeah. In fact, where yeah. is our troop these days? I forgot about him. Oh, oh so who the hell knows? Title, you know, doing that. Well, I figured that, but doing... I haven't really heard much of him. It's I amazing just... how long our troop's Ooh. been able to keep his job. Oh yeah. No, God. I'm I'm not shocked because at, at this point, God. truth is just like fuck God it. Is truth. Truth is just like fuck it. He's like, I'm, I'm not going to be a big me. star. He yeah. could have been, by the way, but he's he he just accepted that he they don't want him to be a big star. So he's just like fuck it. Right. I'm just. I mean, he he, he, he took on John Cena make. for the WWE Championship at a one night uh one time pay per view. And uh, I mean, uh, he was, I mean, whenever punishment. he was in TNA, he was you know I don't know a former. I'm so glad WYW. Yeah, I'm so yeah, glad WIW is bringing back the capital punishment name so we can book, book a better pay-per-view than the main fed. How sad does that sound out loud? You want to know the sad thing? I was actually at capital punishment. You poor oh. unfortunate. Oh, wow. I can't Why say the much. Fuck did you go to that? I can't say much because I, I was a kid and fire. I really just didn't care at that time. And oh, this that makes sense because WWE right now. Before the three hour WWE system on Raw, before I was tired out. Like after uh, 
When Dirty is like for the hour. kids. They don't have like a mind necessarily. I, I, so they I, know I, the is it really for the kids? Because I see more kids in AEW say... shows with families, women, children, elderly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, oh, wait, 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 guys. Remember, remember Kid OC kicking Billy Gunn? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. everyone just was like, oh. Yeah. Again, AEW yeah. makes the moments. Makes fun to be a pro wrestling fan. Right. Call, calling back the Daniel Bryan tie choke thing from the past episode of Diamond. I watched it on freaking cold. I was, I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> that was great. Like, Man, wait. That was phenomenal. I, I, I can actually do non-PG stuff here. Can't I? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you, yeah. Want, do you want me to... <laughs> Okay, okay, no. Do you want me to mention what Brian Danielson did the first few things he did after he le- after he joined AEW? Dude, I've so watched slam. Brian Danielson's run since coming to AEW. Yeah. That's how he shit. He literally first yeah, said, same. after all out, I'm here to goddamn fucking wrestle. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> hey guys, I just want to tell you Brian Danielson after AEW Dynamite. Recreated that 2010 spot with Justin Roberts. That, yeah. I got yeah. him fired. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. you want to know what the first thing Brian did when before he fought Kenny Omega? The first thing he did, what? Something good. What? what? Well, since he since you mentioned he he can say whatever he wants under a I don't really care anymore attitude. He's always had zero fucks though. To be yes. fair, okay. yeah, but now yeah. he's in a company where he could get away with more saying stuff. Uh, he said this. When I eat an apple, I'm essentially eating tree sperm. Most fruits are semen. Uh, <laughs> and thus <laughs> apples <laughs> forever. Oh, I remember that. I remember That's that. That's true. What the hell? <laughs> That's so true, though. That's true. And what? he made Twitter explode that day when he said that. <laughs> Why did you bring that back up? Oh, because this is Brian God. at his most <laughs> lethally deadly self. Oh my gosh. And oh, that's wow. Wait, wait, wait. I got I got I got the song for him for, for that little um what was it? Uh the, the, the little uh reveal there, right? About fruit, right? Oh, You're yeah. gonna get your oh. fruit filled with semen. <laughs> You're gonna get your fruit filled with semen. All right, I gotta add this before I get freaking copyright oh, wow. strike. Oh, Daniel Bryan, wrestler yeah. of the year. That Don't at sick. me. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we dissected enough about today's events. Wishing everybody the best and praying for everybody still there and hoping that bottom line professional wrestling continues to thrive. And WWE, you literally are on the verge to die. But all the best. Does anyone else have anything to close before we conclude tonight? Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't mention this for about all the goodwill AEW's done, like how they asked John Moxley, hey, uh, do you think yeah, we can talk about dude. And then everyone yeah. else was like, not yeah. 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 Yes. Good luck on AEW, man. Good on AEW. Oh, oh, also, yeah. Vince Russo lost his mind. Like, say, you crossed the line. And how everyone's saying you're exploiting John Moxley. And how you're just exploiting him like you exploited Brody and whatnot. And it's like, bro, what? you dear eyes. One, he literally said Moxley gave his permission to do it. Two, his wife works for AEW's community part. So I'm pretty sure she signed off rights to that. I forgot, I forgot about that part of the thing. I forgot she does the community bit. Yeah, and, and, by the way. Three, and, 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 oh, oh, you want to know what someone else has said? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. But they, someone, I saw this tweet. I don't know the user's name. They blocked it like I usually do. But this is what someone said. John Moxley's faking it like Roman faked leukemia. Oh, God. We're back at this. We're, we're back at this logic app. And James is bashing his head in, which told me one thing. He's either going to rant or he's going to go do something dangerous. Oh, no. Oh, no. James. 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 Boy. Give in to your anger. Stop. Stop it with this bullshit in the IWC. Don't have a computer. Don't have a smartphone. You are not equipped. Stay all off social media, please. Oh, and another thing. 
final conclusion. Stop. I'm reminded of the first Mitchell stuff. We all remember what he did to Brody and his family. And this is why the IWC is such a toxic known community because people like this. Oh, exist. oh, oh, that, that reminds me. They thought, okay, this person thought that, that they should not have brought up Moxley battling alcohol addiction because it's the toxic IWC. They knew it would go to a war zone. And I'm like, dude. Uh, that, that's dude. Not, that, no. Bro. No. What? So first no. off. Oh, Invert. Come on. The, that is on the responsibility of the morons that are on social media using their Twitter fingers because they can't fucking have any human empathy to save their goddamn life. That's on them. And by the way, it's also on the fucking parents who didn't teach them this thing called fucking empathy. So no, it's not on the fucking AEW guys to not fucking say that John Moxley is not here because John Moxley is going through something that's seriously real that a lot of people fucking battle with. So for you people that are saying that they shouldn't have fucking said that, and Vince Russo is fucking one of them, hey, guess what? You're a fuck and I hate you. Shut the fuck up. Thank you. Take two double birds for you. And, and I would like to mention, uh, remember the amount of times everyone praised WWE and WCW saying, uh, oh, you're doing such a good job addressing Scott Hall's alcoholism. Oh, speaking, of w, oh. speaking of WCW, um, Dax tweeted out saying, "Oh yeah, I heard that. I wish WCW yeah. would have." Yeah, I heard that. No, I, yeah, I, I, I like it, Dax, but no, no. <laughs> Both would have just been as bad. Unfortunately, would have just been as bad. Unfortunately, yep. Yeah, because it was over. It was way worse than. Boy, I'm watching. Had, I'm pretty sure WWE 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 until 2000. Bro, I'm yeah, watching here's Reliving the, the War the right now on Wrestling Bios, okay? I, I can tell you firsthand from watching that series back with Dang. Wrestling Bios. Dang, like, I watched that series too. Dude, it, <laughs> it was Like, I like to keep mentioning, I feel like WCW never truly died. It evolved into what WWE has turned itself into. And now they're going to face the same fates. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, Jeff meets him at one point. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Jeff. But uh, Jeff meets him. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there was a podcast that Noah and I were on ages ago where he, he basically said, the reason why WCW failed is because of hot shot booking. And then Jeff meets him just goes, Bueller? Bueller? You, Vince, you're doing that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, years later. Later, and then, and then uh, my exact response to that was, well, see, Jeff, it's okay if Vince McMahon does it because he's the biggest hypocrite, so it doesn't matter. As long as he can get away with it, it's fine. But if anybody else does it, oh, no, no, no. It's, it's a stupid idea. I it's literally, like said, I literally like looked a- in the NodiQ review chat I'm part of because I do like the predictions and all that type of stuff and sometimes reviews. Of course, I don't do it anymore because I care about it like wrestling because, again, they own the night. But Jeff really said... If there was a night for me to be on a fifth wheel for a review, this is it. I hope he was part of the review tonight because I can only imagine what's on his mind. And, and, and like, Especially yeah. about Keep Lee. Yeah, oh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think everyone everyone's pissed about this. Like everyone that's a fellow fat yeah. person in the IWC is pissed that they didn't fucking know what to do. The with Keith Lee, right? are pissed yeah. at Ben. Exactly. They're pissed at Nick Khan. They're pissed at Bruce Pritchard. They're pissed at the WWE management for screwing Karrion Cross, Keith Lee, and all these people. And willingly Harley. said, "Yeah, I'm done." Yeah, right. I'll see you. They uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think the viewership's going to be this week? I bet they lose viewers because they fucking released a bunch of stars again. Yeah, uh, I feel like the viewers are just gonna probably blow me like, oh, we still got this many people because blah blah blah. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh yeah, we got damn. this many people. We're doing just as good as TNA Impact did back in 2010 when they competed with us. We're doing swellingly. There's uh, another no, aspect no. that the IWC uses no, 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 to no. bring toxicity into life. We're doing, we're doing great. We're doing phenomenal. Yeah, okay. Like sure I said, I, I, sim- I simply lay back and watch wrestling, and that's all I got to say Same. about that. Same. Wrestling. Wrestling. Professional wrestling fucking matters. Yes. Period. Exactly right. 
Uh, do we want to plug our stuff at this point? I think nah, we covered that everything. shit. I'm just going to put your Twitter handles in the freaking thing. So closing arguments before we close. I think everybody said their thing. I have a close. I have a, I have a closing. Yeah. I have a closing line, but that will be it. All right, then I guess I'll simply say I think this is the perfect time for us to sign off until we restore our excitement, our relaxation, and overall hype for professional fucking wrestling tomorrow night with AEW Rampage. Yes. Okay, wait, wait. One more piece of news. Go oh, for it. Hold oh, on. great. Oh, great. <laughs> Turning point. Mercedes Martinez versus Mickey James. Is oh, on. yeah. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking yeah. go. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Spoiler alert. Mickey James is against right. Madison Rain. I obviously saw that coming. But I'm ready for this match. You're talking about two trailblazers, two journey women, two incredible professional wrestlers. They're going to put on a clinic. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Again, like uh, King's background shows, 10 of the world's professional wrestling location that you can go and thrive and enjoy and explore if you're not even a fan or never even heard of something. Go check something out that is not the WWE and open your fucking mind. That's all I got to say about that. All right. Amen. We're going to pay this tomorrow night, and I can't wait to see some more women's wrestling. Of course, with Red Velvet and the Bunny. Yay, Allie. And so much more awesome <laughs> other stuff, too. Eddie Keys and CM Punk. Real talk, face to face. That's gonna be as good as freaking John Moxley and Eddie Kingston. Red Velvet and the Bunny has better build uh, uh, as a wrestling feud in the, uh, than any WWE storyline in the last t- twenty years, and that's a shoot. That's not even me fucking faking that. That's 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 yeah, true. Exactly right. And this is their second exactly match right. against each other, and you're not wrong. And might I add, one is sixteen years experience. The other one's not even three years wrestling experience. Exactly. That's true. That is very true. But I digress. Good on Cody, by the way, on that. Uh, continue. Uh, really, like I said, that's all I got to say. Again, we love professional wrestling. And WWE, you fucking suck. But good luck to everybody there that we do support. And good luck and, to everybody and, that got and, released. And, and, exactly Find right. new passion. And, right. and, end, it, exactly. end it with this little tune. Ready? I, I, I'll, we'll end it with this little tune. Then I'm going to say I do. James, take it away. On the first day of Christmas, all Lily came to see the signing of Bearcat Lee. Dun, dun. All right. Um. <laughs> well, we shall soon wait and see. But there's one death day for sure. We will once again bask in his glory. In the glory. Finally. Oh, he That's is right. Witness. Dude, please, I want them to do that team so bad. I want it to happen. I hope they go with it. I really would. Wait and see, James. It. Wait and see. Unlimited power. Anything can happen in the world of professional wrestling. 2021 has taught us anything. All right, we're out. That's folks. true. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone. James, I hope your brain's still okay. Uh, no promises. <laughs> I respect your honesty.